Hello, my pinkies, and welcome back to another Plan With Me video. This is a monthly plan with me, and we will be planning for the month of September. Can you guys believe that? It's like September, like three more months, then it's December, and then it's the end of the year. I'm like, oh my goodness. Anyways, um, quick note before we start that this Labor Day weekend, we are having a sale, and it's 15% off. It's already adjusted on our Etsy shop, so there's no code needed for that. All you have to do is just head on over to the shop and pick out some stuff that you might need or want or must have while it's on sale this weekend. Let's just jump right into it. As you can see, this is my September mystery kit and we will be using the monthly mystery kit from the September mystery kit. Oh my goodness, <laughs> lots of mystery kits there. Okay, so I'm just gonna pull the things out and I'm gonna spread it out to let you see what's included in the monthly mystery kit, in our mystery kit. Those of you just joined us, I'll be using my HP glossy version here. Here they are, all the lovelies that I'll be using for this monthly plan with me. Also included is the freebies and the date dots. However, I will not be using the date dots because I save that for my weekly planner, weekly spread. So I'll be using all these five sheets of stickers here to do my September monthly plan with me. This is for September 2017, so let's get planning. For those who are new to my monthly mystery kit, just wanted to let you know that my monthly mystery kit do come with instruction on how to place the sticker down because they are die cut, so there are certain layers that you have to put down first before you place the other stickers. As you can see, you start with the sidebar. Now with the sidebar, the mystery kits do come with five stickers that you could build your own sidebar and the ones that you don't use afterwards, you could use it in your weekly spread also. So next, after the sidebar, you do your blank boxes, match the corners and place them down. Here I'm just going to show you that, as you can see, it's die cut. So also please de delicately remove the stickers from the sheets too. As you can see, I decided to do foiling for this month, just to try it out to see how you guys like it. If you do like it or not, just let me know, comment down below. But I think it's super pretty for the monthly spread. Here I'm going to show you how to align my title bar because it is a bigger sticker that is cut into two and especially with the print plays off of one another. I literally just angle it up a bit before I stick it down and match the artwork to its corresponding artwork from below as you can see here. It's still angled up and then from one corner I press down and then push the sticker through to the other end. So here I am just trying to adjust it correctly. And then once it matches, I just push it down. Um, especially if you think it's crooked, just lift it up fast before it settles down onto your paper and then align it and there you go. It will look very seamless. Once I have all those main stickers down, I start planning my month. Here I usually would do the holidays, but I don't know what was going on through my mind and forgot to do the holidays as in the Labor Day and the Patriot Day stickers, but I guess vacation was on my mind because on the 7th till the 12th, I'll be traveling to London, um, just me and my girlfriend to visit London for the first time, so I'm super excited. Therefore, to indicate the duration that I am away, I'm going to use this washi tape, also available in our Etsy shop. And now I just remember that, oh my gosh, I got to put my holiday down. So I decided to place the Labor Day sticker at the bottom because I did not want to interfere with it on the top. I usually place the sticker on top of the prints because I do not need to be reminded twice on that day that it's that holiday. Also on top of the washi, I'm going to use an uh, open and close arrow just to indicate that when it starts and when I'm coming home. Not to mention September 1st is our pre-order for our October mystery kit. It will be available in our shop till September 10th. And also here I am using, as you can see, I'm using the mystery kit washi tape here to indicate our long weekend Labor Day sale that's happening in our shop. Quick tip that these washi also fits perfectly as headers in your weekly spread. So my in-laws are coming out of town to visit us on Saturday and then on the 5th my little girl has her 
school orientation. And on the 9th, she has her city program gymnastic and also city program skating. So that's pretty exciting. On the 25th, I have a conference to go to. Sorry, that is kind of out of frame. I just used the flag to mark that off. And the blue flags here are just to mark off my date nights with my hubby. So the day after I arrive back home, I have an appointment with the travel visa center to drop off my application and apply for a travel visa that I'll be traveling in two months. You can see I just placed my pay, pay bleh, my paydays and my bill due stickers down and also my day off. I have the whole week off and I don't want to plaster every day with day off so I just placed it at near the beginning and then placed it at the end. Usually when I'm majorly finished planning my planners, I put my hello monthly sticker down the last. I usually like to put it in the calendars just to fill up the space so it makes me look that I'm super busy. It's funny, while I'm editing this video, I totally forgot to do my garbage and recycling um, cycles and I also forgot to do my change my bed sheet cycles and also indicate when my cleaners are coming to clean my house. Like, Seriously, I think my head is on vacation right now. Or that I have too many things to do before I go. I am just gonna fill this month out and I'll be right back. Now that's done, I'm gonna place it back into my planner. If you guys wanna see how the Erin Condren version looks like, I'm just gonna pull it out here and show you guys. I use this Erin Condren as my mock-up, so before I do any massive printing or anything, I always use this Erin Condren as my tester just to see if there's any imperfection or if the measurement is incorrect or wrong. And that's it. And don't forget to check out our shop. We're having a 15% off this weekend. Everything is discounted. However, the October monthly kit pre-sale is excluded from this sale. Thank you my pinkies for watching and I wish you all a happy, relaxing and fun long weekend. Happy planning! Bye!